What are we making tonight? Uh, we're making about a half an hour, an hour and a half of time before I go see Batman 3D. No, not Batman 3D. It's Batman 3 Hour. That's what it is. I'm going to go see Batman 3 Hour. It's going to be great. Is it good? Good. I like good movies. I've heard of these good movies. Okay, so when last we uh, saw a Doom guy, he was uh, in the level after this, but then his controller, me, got fucking killed and forgot to save it. So, you know. Yeah, Argentina, love it. I know Wheel of Money, but I'm going to give you shit anyways. Because it wasn't a dance on the internet. Dance on the internet needs to be like... I don't know, man. I think it needs to be broken. Not just my mic was off. And the other reason was my mic was off is because I was setting something else up on my phone and didn't want there to be echo. Because then everyone would say echo. So, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Why am I here? Okay, so, uh, yeah. There's a nuclear plant on fire in Ukraine right now? Jesus Christ. Well... I just ate uh, a Subway spicy Italian sandwich, so. Assy3647 says, I wear fingerless gloves at work. Wheel of Money definitely continuing to defend yourself makes me the most serious one. You're right. Because I never give people shit for no reason. Anyways. Uh, I just want to beat this uh, level and get to the next one. I would love to get to the end of this act. The original Doom is in four acts of about eight levels. I don't know if I'm gonna... Yeah, we'll see how I do, you know. I, uh, I want to try and do well tonight, and I want to try and get to some... You know, beat this part. And so... I didn't plan on any silly shit happening. If you watched on Monday, it got pretty silly. <laughs> I'll just say that. Oh, shit. Oh, did I not do this part yet? I did not do this part yet. Or maybe I did. Anyways. I did not do this part yet. There's no game music. <sighs> oh, shit. I hope you're happy that you complained because it distracted me and I almost died. Timmy, any chance you'd stream some old Star Wars FPS games after Dune? Uh, yes, a very, very good chance. Um, I am going to uh, stream Dark Forces at some point, and I, I, uh, I want to get it configured so that... Uh, I can get the old school button configuration on that the way I got it configured on this Doom. I don't mind the WASD configuration of more modern stuff, but I just feel like it deserves to be played the right way, you know? I've not played any of the Knights of the Old Republic very much. Original Dark Forces is so funny. Uh, like Doom, there's no, uh, what do you call it, Y-axis? So you're just like pointing your gun, and if there's a guy up there, you just point your gun on the same feet, like, other axis that he's on, and the bullet just goes up, you know? It's pretty great. Oh, come on. Pokemon. Oh, damn it! Fell off my thing. Oh, there are? Crazy. I did not know that crazy saxophonist. That's really interesting. I had no idea. Alright, going up. 
I said going up! It's weird, you have to like move a little bit. Yeah, my plan with Doom... Okay, yeah, I, I got a new computer built recently from a lot of fans and Whitest Kids and other nice people uh, that helped me build it. And uh, I was always jokingly being like, it'd be really, you know, the kind of games I play. I play so many old school games that I don't know if I'm going to get the graphical juice out of this that people really want. Um... So I'm going to play through Doom 1 and Doom 2. I might play Doom 3. It has its defenders. I played it for like an hour 20 years ago or whatever, 15 years ago, and wasn't wild about it, but whatever. Uh, so we'll see. And then I'm going to play Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Now, those are going to be playing on my Xbox because I have them on Xbox already. Um, but it'll still be good to use a good machine that can actually fucking, like... You know, do all the razor stuff. Zach was at work and Timmy, Timmy's at dinner. Wait, Zach was working or was he playing Elden Ring? Was he playing Elden Ring at home? Oh, you are at work. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. I am so stupid. Um, did that thing do what it was supposed to do? Okay, I think it did. All right. Yeah, Doom Eternal I have not beaten. I played some of it. It's a hard one. I need better, uh... Where am I? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we going here? Wait, 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 Yes. Oh. Okay, I think this is more what I wanted. All right. How do I feel about the old Torak? Do you mean Torak? I haven't played them a lot, but they're good. Yeah, so lots of whitest gets a dig. Oh, shit! No, I fucked that up because I was... Ugh. Okay. I screwed up. Because I accidentally mapped running to shift. And, uh, everything's a fucking disaster. Maybe, uh... Can I make the Windows key a strafe, or is that going to fuck me up even more? No, that brings up the Windows. <laughs> we don't want that. All right. Uh, I guess I'll leave them the way they are. Eh... <sighs> I just don't... My fingers don't go up there. Anybody else remember on the old Doom what the strafes were? I feel like Alt was one of them, and it'd be great if the Windows key could be one of them, but it brings up my fucking Windows thing. Hold Alt. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it these for now. We'll see. Anyways, let's, let's continue. I'm never going to get anywhere at this pace. Yeah, you're right. The old one was hold alt and then you go either way. Okay, that's what I needed to figure out, but I don't know if I know how to configure that. No, 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 not the fists! Oh my god. Holy shit. Comma and period. Yeah, but that's way over here. I've not put my hand over there. Ah. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, is there's certain things about Doom. Like, you can't beat the way those guys liquefy. I don't care about graphical levels. There's something within the style of this game. The way those guys fucking turn into jello. Perfect. Perfect. 
The menu had a strafe. Uh, yeah, there was a strafe option, but I don't know if there's. Let me see. Let's try this. Okay, so yeah, it has. Control, left control. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's fire. Okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have like a hold down thing. Let me see here. Hmm. Because you're right. On the old school Doom, it was one. And then you go either way. Oh, maybe it's. Damn it. I'll figure it out. Kill all the danger. That's a really good uh, comment. Is it assy? I always forget how you say that term. Is it assy? This makes me think of Wanda Sykes. Assy? See right there? Strafe would have been super great. Oh, God. This whole hallway, really. I do have to leave, like, at 8.30 to go to the movie theater and get all set up to be, once again, let down by the citizenry of my town at the screening of a, the of a movie. I don't know why I even fucking do it. Is the chainsaw gurgling, is that ASMR? Why is the movie going to be bad? No, the movie's got to be good. I mean, letting getting let down by the people. I, I, I think the movie will be good. I think Batman looks good. But, um, nah, my town, moviegoers, noise. Oh, they're terrible at it. Just terrible. I swear they just think every, I think, they, they think the inside of a movie theater is a fucking airport lobby. And I can't decide, maybe you guys can help me. Are young people or old people worse at a movie theater? And by young people, I mean like teenagers, college kid age. What's worse? Who's worse? Ask key. Okay, that's how I'll say it. Babies? Eh, babies aren't that bad. College jabronis, yeah. I don't know if I've told this story before, but I love it. When I went to see the first It, it was like a packed theater. And it actually was a pretty decent crowd. But I was sitting next to a girl, like a, you know, maybe 22-year-old girl. And she was sitting next to her boyfriend, who was on the other side. So it was me, and then her, and then her boyfriend. And then at, a, at some certain scary point, like a jump scare, she grabs my leg. She's like, oh my god! And I, I was like, what? She's like, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to grab him. I'm like, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. We're all, we all know, sometimes you get scared. And accidentally grab a weirdo creep instead of your boyfriend. Luckily, I'm not that kind of creep. I'm just generally creepy. No, I wouldn't steal anybody's girlfriend. Because I'm just like, you know, chill. But I just thought it was funny. Oh, yeah. Okay, did I get everybody in here? Okay, I did not get everything in this level. Ooh, there's a mythal. That's one of the cutest things in the world, is the way that little girl in the Trevor Talks to Kids sketch, the way she goes, I'm mythal! No, I was. I never dated Megan Gox. Neither did Darren. He dated Megan Fox. I didn't do that either. JoJo Power Rangers, right? It's not the baby's fault. Babies shouldn't be at movies. Like, I did take my daughter to a movie when she was a baby, but it's because we knew that no one else would be there. So it was just me and her and my parents, and it was the first Muppets movie, the, the newer one, the Muppets or whatever, which is disappointing. But that's a whole other thing anyways so nobody like we knew nobody would be there so it's fine like i really wouldn't have taken her if i thought anybody would be there you know
And since the movie's late, it starts at like nine o'clock my time, and it's three hours long! I don't think- oh, god damn it. Yeah, I need that strafe button! Yeah, original Doom was on Windows 3.1. I had 3.11, maybe? In my parents' basement. I'm playing computer games in my parents' basement like a true... Uh, alpha male. <laughs> I ran through a lot of potential insults in my head there. Live Biscuit? No, I don't know who that is. A free plane ride? That'd be fun. Can we stream it somehow? I suppose we would shoot it and put the video up later. Wait, wait, wait. Do I get to be on the outside of the plane? Some people think because you do comedy, you also do stunts, and it's not true. Not even secretly bolted to the plane like Tom Cruise was in Part 5. Timmy is going to be kidnapped in an airplane. Yeah, we all knew that was going to happen, though. That was probably on a lot of people's bingo cards. I, did, I have big kidnapped onto a plane energy. Hey, can you guys hear the music anymore? Be bop bop and rock steady. Be bop and rock steady. It's not very loud, is it? There we go. How about that? Is it still too quiet? I just thought the sound effects were too loud. I guess I could turn those down. Not loud enough to hear it. All right. Okay, hopefully the... Is that too loud though? Yeah, my muscle memory goes to alt for strafe, so... Come at me, gotch! As long as you all can hear the sound those guys make when they fall, that's my best part. I bought a yellow key card, I bought a yellow key card. I killed a dead pink guy, then I bought an e-board. Yeah, this is one of my favorite gym songs. If you're not gonna chainsaw those guys, why even have a fucking chainsaw? Oh god, here comes an invisible one. I almost shot him. Too close to my head. Where'd he go? Come here! Alright, this one gets. Oh no, here he comes! Come here!
This part looks great on the map because it's all twisty. Oh wait, did I do that wrong? <laughs> ah shit, did I not open it yet? Ah. Uh... Jesus Christ! What is everyone's favorite serial killer? Ooh! Do we have to go with real ones? Oh, then I'd just say Leatherface. Well, Leatherface is not a serial killer. I don't know. He's just a killer. Anyways, I don't know. Hey, I had a survey question as well. Uh, my survey question is... We're talking about hell. So what is everybody's personal, like, hell? I used to say that my personal circle of hell would be either Eternally wet socks. It's fucked up, right? Oh no! Why did I fall in there? Oh god. Who's a local from Watertown? Mr. McDrizzlefizz is a local? Sidecar, you are local. Of course you are. What do you mean? Okay, so, uh, wet socks, always wet socks. Definitely a help, right? Being a parent, I figured out another one, which is having a, let's say, like, five-year-old, or no, seven-year-old. Another level of hell is having a seven-year-old explain the plot of a movie to you. You don't want to do that. Um, but there's new ones! There, I think there's more. What else are people saying? Oh, you're saying there was a guy from Watertown that was a serial killer? Being forced to drown in a drain pipe overflowing with raw sewage and infectious biological waste forever. That's pretty horrible. How about this one? An eternity only being, uh, being able to read comments and replies on a tweet about movies. You don't get to see the tweet about the movie, you just get to see the replies and comments. Why aren't you talking about this movie? I think that movie that you said is good is bad. You know, just that kind of stuff forever for the rest of your life, or for, forever, period, because it's hell, right? I think that'd be terrible. You know, I think I always get stuck in this one. I can't remember where the hell you're supposed to go. I got a blue key card now. That's the red key card. No, I have the red one. That one's yellow. Do I go in here? Let's go to the same place. Oh, God! Oh, that's right. That's where I fell off. No toenails? Watching Nostalgic Critics The Wall for Eternity. No idea what that means. <laughs> Watching Breaking Bad is only the scenes of Marie and Skyler forever. Arthur Shawcross was a serial killer from Watertown. I didn't know we had one. Cis Psychopath. My version of hell trapped in a redneck's body have to watch can't control. <laughs> like, okay, what kinds of things would they be doing? Like, uh... Beating their kids? Uh, parking their... Leaving a rusty car in the grass? Right? That's one? Um, what else would they do? Not wear, like... Not, not just not wear masks, but they'd, like, start fights about wearing masks at Walmart? That's one, isn't it? Having a dog on a chain. <laughs> yes. 
Garbage pile. Kiss and cousins. I just watched that episode yesterday of, of Simpsons where they sneak into Shelbyville to steal the lemon tree back, and the Shelbyville guy was like obsessed with kissing his cousins. Really good shit. Excuse me, I burp. 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 I have burped. I burped. Excuse me. Why can't I remember where to go? God damn it, I thought there was a thing in here, you go. I might be thinking of something else. There's a blue card key. Card door. Card key. Breeding illegal reptiles watching Larry the Cable Guy? You don't remember incest being on The Simpsons? Yeah, it's a great joke on the uh, Shelbyville Lemon Tree episode. Uh, Jebediah Springfield had a partner named uh, Manhattan, wasn't it Manhattan Shel Shelbyville? <laughs> and uh, they were gonna start a town together. And Jebediah Springfield's like, yeah, we're you know we'll, we'll be free to worship how we want and and live you know, like uh, live freely and da 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 da. And then Shelbyville goes and marry our cousins. And he's like, what? Yeah, it's a great episode. Yeah, so the statue of the Shelbyville founder is like him with like two ladies, and he's like got a weird look on his face. And then at one point, when they're fighting the boys from Shelbyville. Well, this is the first time I found the map in a little bit. At one point when they uh, are like escaping from the, the Shelbyville boys, one of Bart or his friends say like, look, an attractive cousin, and they're like, ooh. Yeah, the Doom music is good, right? I don't know what that did. Do, 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 do. Oh, but now I have the, the map. I have the map. I have the map. I have the map. It's really hard not to do that. Yo, it's time for... Dad licorice. Because <laughs> the movie's going to be late, right? So I'm going to have... Dads eat all the black licorice, the black licorice, that's what dads all eat. Dads love to eat black licorice, they eat black licorice, that's what dads eat. Dads like to eat the black licorice. Yeah, uh, this is Wiley Wallaby. I actually, my favorite brand of black licorice I can get around here is the Walgreens kind. It's softer. More, more horse... More horse skin in it. Probably a higher degree of horse skin. <laughs> Yellow key. Uh-oh. There's no more gray walls. Is 
this psychopath put some clothes on. Jen's Duck, what do you mean? Are we not allowed to talk the show? Do you mean about the Whitest Kids show? Uh -oh, what's going on here? I thought that was a way through, I guess not. There's a secret I haven't found yet. Oh! Ah! Yeah, there is a whole thing there I didn't get to. Look at that. Okay, what's over here? Ah! Oh no! We're gonna hear this a lot. Eh, 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 eh. Just taking the worst dump possible. Where the fuck is this going? Any advice on writing sketches when you've never written a sketch before and you gotta show Sam two sketches by next week? Yeah, just uh, copy down uh, Slow Jerk and the Lincoln sketch and then say that you wrote them. Somebody said, are we not allowed to talk the show? Jen's Duck, did you mean... Uh, I would like to know what they meant. Because you can talk about Whitest Kids here. There may be a rumor that I don't like people to do that. But that's not true. There are certain sketches where if you mention them, I will mercilessly lambast you. But it's in a fun way. It's out of love. Andy Mac, you mean like what format to write them in? Jen Suck, thank you. No, we talk about the show all the time. Self Suck Saturdays are called that because we talk about white skins. Supposedly they're called that because if we ever get 100,000 subscribers, I'm supposed to fillet myself on screen. But uh, I'm getting fat again, so don't uh, hold your breath on that one. I shouldn't hold my breath. Uh, no, we love to talk about the show. You can talk about any sketch you want. And if you do, you might find out what the uh, forbidden ones are. Colin Cook, here's a funny thing. I live in Watertown, South Dakota. I one time, uh, my agent, my stand-up manager, wanted me to do a show in Williston. That's way up in the oil fields, right? They wanted me to do a show in Williston and then be at a gig in Sioux Falls the next night. Those are ten hours apart. I was like... Yo, I know that you are only ever in LA and New York, but you gotta fucking look at a map, please. I beg you. <laughs> and, uh... Also, the other thing about that is, if I did a stand-up show at the oil fields in Williston, I would get killed. It's just really that simple. You know what I mean? Hey, SD Pride 08 is here, an old friend of mine. How you doing, buddy? Whose poop was in the bag on the episode where you all, you sell your DVD? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that wasn't... You mean the one where I'm holding it up? In the Mountain of Chairs sketch? Is that that one? Uh, it's not real poop. 
Andy Mack. Well, okay, so the format we wrote our sketches in for stage was just like, Timmy, colon, in my line, return. Trevor, colon, in his line, return, like an action. Once we were writing for the show, we put in screenplay format, which you can still do on MS Word. You gotta just set a bunch of different tabs and stuff. But uh, yeah, it might behoove you to uh, look up screenplay format. I forget how you get this door to open. They pay off the CPS guy. Yes, that's the that's the end of the mountain chair sketch. Um, yeah. So uh, the poop in that one. Okay, when we did it live, I would buy some Swiss cake rolls or a Snickers or something like that, and put it in a plastic bag. And then sometimes at the bar we always performed at pianos, I would take the bag with the Twinkie or with the Ho Hos or the uh, Snickers in it, wave it over candle for a little bit not to, i don't want to melt the bag but just to get the the the, the fake poop to kind of get melted a little tiny bit yeah i do not remember how to open that whatever oh is it this yes is that Oh, someone asked if I change my repertoire when I go to different places. Um, when I used to perform here in my own town, I just got sick of having to, like, put up with people not liking anything that didn't affirm their beliefs. So I didn't do as much of the political or jokes about how the state is stupid for hating trans people kind of stuff. Um, even though they need to hear it, you know, and I would still do it sometimes, but, uh... But generally, no, nah, I just fucking be me. And if they don't like it, then they don't bring me back, and that's fine. Killing invisible pig monsters. There's one more over there. Come on! Come on! Yes, Sidecar. Sidecar used to, and I, well, you did it. You, he used to put on an open mic at a bar here that ended up getting run to the ground by Trumpers. And uh, they had a dog, and the dog was great. And the dog would come up on stage, and you could pet the dog. Did the Weird Here episode have any lasting effects in your town? Uh, I think Sidecar still has sunburn from that day, because he helped them shoot it. But uh, besides that, probably not. Oh, I'm sure there's probably still people that talk about it like like it means our state got taken over by gay terrorists, but I don't think there's... I don't know how much actual... I don't know. I don't know if it did anything or not. I think I got everything. Let's move on. Where am I? Can you kill the invisible pig monster on the inside? I've been trying to, that's why I eat so much. Doesn't do anything. And I am leaving at uh, 8.30 tonight, 45 more minutes, so I can go see the movie that I think should officially be called The Three Hour Batman. And I think it's just called The Batman, because Hollywood is composed of cowards. Just 
Excuse me, I don't. Super Jingo, great question. I did retweet it earlier today. John Romero, the creator of Doom, one of the one of the creators. Uh, but he was like the main dude. Uh, he is cool, and to support uh, people in the Ukraine, he made a new level for Doom 2, which is similar looking to this game because it came out just a few years after. And so he was selling it for five euros, which is like. Uh, I don't know, like 575 here or something. Anyways, I bought it. I'll be playing it, but it's you gotta load it into Doom 2, and I haven't downloaded Doom 2 yet, so I'll, I'll be playing it when I play Doom 2, which is whenever I finish this game. You know what? I'm going to see this Batman movie at 9, and it feels like when I was, like, 18 and was gonna go see, like, a Star Wars movie at midnight. <laughs> That's like how my brain now, being almost 41, is like interpreting it, you know? Who's Alfred in this one? Uh, is it, uh... It's, um... Gollum! It's Andy Serkis, right? And then I think Jeffrey Wright is... Commissioner Gordon? Is that right? Did I ever get into, into the Duke Nukem games? Yes, Duke Nukem 3D is a fun game. I like it a lot. <laughs> Alright, so there's a bunch of dudes up there. I'm gonna save it and go fight it. What is hang? What does that mean? Oh my god, you're right. The chain gun does sound like the opening to the Bell Biff Vo song Poison. Boys to men, A B C B B D. Was already here, apparently. I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. I'm going. In circles, it circles, it circles. Colin G. Cook, I agree with you. There's too much Batman. It'll probably be fine. Like, this one looks good, but man. I don't know.
Gooder Thomas says, Timmy, do you think Old Doom or New Doom is more fun? Man, they both have their charm, but the New Dooms, with the addition of jumping and uh, a little more higher quality, not in the composition, but in the audio quality, uh, higher audio quality music. So good. Okay. It's her love to make you go on a thing and then go up on another thing. Oh shit, I forgot about the secret there. Who? You? God damn it. Missing that strafe key right about now. Oh shit! Wait a minute. I thought that was a thing. Is it this? God, fell off of its fingers. Yeah, I think, and the thing is, is I, I read one review, and I, I don't do spoilers for movies. I actually like to, like, find out what happens after I go to the movie, which is, like, a weird thing. But, um, uh, anyways, I have heard that the fighting is shot very close in, which bums me out. But, uh, I'm still looking forward to it. I, and I will continue to hold my candle for the idea that one day my grandchildren's children's children's grandchildren's children will get to see a Batman movie where we actually see the motherfucker do martial arts. We've been told many, 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 many times that Batman's like this amazing fighter, but we've never fucking seen it. The only live-action Batman with good uh, choreographed fight scenes where you can see everything? What is it? What is it? Anybody? No. I mean, that one's okay. The, that one, the one time you see Batman mess up a bunch of people is alright. No, fucking Adam West. Adam West on the show, the huge fight scenes, they are camera's pulled back there's even though it's silly there's choreographed mood moves and you're like you know the f fight kind of has a narrative to it like it's you know we don't get that in in batman movies and yeah uh affleck batman had a little tiny hint of it but it wasn't wasn't enough i want to see a batman movie where you got i, I want to see a batman movie directed like they make all the uh you know a lot of asian uh um Especially Southeast Asia right now, like martial arts films. Camera pulled back, lots of great choreography. And a lot of direct -to video movies that have a fraction of the budget of a Batman movie. You can make 10 Scott Atkins movies for the bat uh, budget of one Batman movie, and he has great fight scenes in a lot of his. You know? Has working in television made you more critical of or just conscious of the technical side of films and TV, like in a way that makes them less enjoyable at all? No! dare I say, more enjoyable. Because uh, in some cases, you can more appreciate what they're doing when you know how, when you know a little bit more about how hard it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, I am more disappointed in porn now. Never. I can never be stay mad at porn. God! 
Damn it! I want to make it out of that thing. I forget what that does. Oh my god, I'm gonna die in here. I'm fucking dying in here! I'm fucking dying in here! I'm gonna fucking die in here! You're not gonna die! You're gonna be okay! You're gonna be okay! Sing the goddamn fucking words! Excuse me, are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? <laughs> What am I supposed to tell him? I'm sorry, I can't give you that fucking information! God damn, that's a good movie. Yeah, Batman the Animated Series is always gonna be hard to beat. Alright, let's just move on and stop running my get the secrets. See if we can kill some fucking Dukes of Hell before I have to go. Oh, those are Hell Knights, right? Or are they Dukes? They're Dukes. Hell Dukes are up and real. Oh, I'm thinking of Turks. <laughs> God, I'm stupid. All right. Look at that. Look at all that stuff. Fuck do you go? I don't remember where you go. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you do you go? Where do you go? Yo, uh, girl made a cheese. Is that a uh, is that a swamp people reference? Judah, Judah. Oh shit. Seth, I'm not gonna talk really loud. That majorly piss off everybody else probably. <laughs> oh, there's a key. Okay. All right, we got another key. We can make this work. I mean, listen. Maybe it's bad, maybe it's good. I wish there was better action in it, probably. That's gonna happen. But, I am still excited to go see a new Batman movie. And, you know, I hardly ever go to the theater anymore. Even though it'll be uh, filled with COVID particles and rednecks who won't shut the fuck up. Uh, I'm still gonna have a great time, you know? Or not, and I'll bitch about it the next time I stream something. You know. It's fine. Do I go? I can't remember where to go. Oh, God! What the fuck? So, who watched Zack's stream? Did he have fun? Is he good at Elden Rings? The El the Lord Lord of the Elden Rings? You know that's what Trevor would be calling it, had he the opportunity to do so. You know, I love this kind of thing that Doom does to kind of piss you off. It's just like, all you needed that red key for was to get the blue key. The only thing it was even existing for. Apple bacon, apple bacon. 
cutting. Apple bacon, apple bacon, apple bacon, apple bacon. Oh, I remember this part. I feel like something terrible is going to happen when I hit that switch. Ever do Whoopi in a movie theater? No. I understand why that's a sexy thing to think about, but it's also probably kind of gross. Pee-wee did get in big trouble. And was it fair? Oh, I don't know. I know there's a way to get out there. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. It's like he was jerking off at a porn theater. I mean, you know what he's about to... It's like, I don't know, this guy was applauding bat costumes at a Batman movie. Anyways, let's see if we can go kill bad guys more. Did I watch Peacemaker? If so, what did I think of it? Um... I've only watched the first three episodes. I, I really want to finish it. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's great. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Here we go. Oh, I didn't get all of them. Oh, this is some really good depressing doom music. Yo, the, for, the, for, for the end of the first part of our game, we should just make it look like a fucking metal guitar. That's also the pentagram. Yes. Thoughts on the Doom movie? I don't know. I feel like if we uh, put any thought in, uh, if we put any thought into talking about the Doom movie, that'll be more thought than they put into making the Doom movie. How's that for a thought? <laughs> also, I spit a little bit. I'm sorry. I said it the other night. All the Doom movie needed was like the rocks in bed. He wakes up and answers the phone. And he goes, "Oh, not again." And then he like gets on a ship, the ship lands on at Mars at the base, and he gets out and he's fighting demons and that's it. And you could have him like meet some other people that are stuck there during the demon attack and stuff. But um just cut to the fucking chase. You know, there's some movies that benefit from the blue balls thing. You know, Aliens is good where it kind of builds it up, but really, you know, I think by half an hour in, you've got aliens, you know? Um and uh, they were trying to do that when really they should be, like, I think what, okay, if I had to really uh, distill it down, I'd say the problem with the Doom movie was that they're trying to make aliens when they should have been trying to make, like, Rambo 2. Because that's what, this game is like Rambo or Commando in hell. It's not fucking, it's not, uh, you know, there's nothing artsy, there's no, like, 
tension, there's no uh, playing out the thread kind of stuff. There's, this isn't Brian De Palma, this is fucking Michael Bay. Look at this, see? Look at these motherfuckers. The second Doom movie, I forgot they made one. No, I'm sure it's terrible. It looks real bad. Ooh, I killed one already! What difficulty am I on? I'm only on... I guess I'm on Hurt Me Plenty. Well... Alright, I guess I should have been on a higher difficulty, because that wasn't even fun, hardly. Well, for anyone who has never seen how the Doom games transition from one chapter to the next, this is gonna be fun. Hell yeah. Okay, what are the words to this part? The... Devil is so cool, he's cool. The devil is fucking cool. Hell is really cool. A Timmy Specs list out there. Um, probably uh, PC Specs. No, I'll, I mean, I can't. Yes, there is. I don't have it. I'm too dumb to talk about it. Nate would know. All right, so. You're not supposed to survive this part that's coming up, but let's see how we do. Not very well. Was there a secret about it? Once you beat the big badasses and clean out the moon base, you're supposed to win, aren't you? Aren't you? Where's your fat reward? And take it home. Oh yeah, it's a moon of Mars. You're on Phobos. What the hell is this? It's not supposed to end this way. It stinks like rotten meat, but looks like the lost Dimos base. Looks like you're stuck on the shores of hell. The only way out is through. To continue the Doom experience, play the shores of hell at its amazing sequel, Inferno. Oh yeah, then you get credits. Oh, no spoilers. All right. So here we go. The shores of hell. Should I go up on the difficulty? I'm not gonna go up on the difficulty yet. I think the music gets better. I like how they don't shy away from devil shit like this upside down cross right now. Oh, this music is so sick. Motherfucker. Damn, those shotgun guys are good shots with their shotgun shots. Only need that strafe key. Can't figure that out. The red stuff will hurt you. Oh, Jesus Christ! And I fell right in it. <laughs> What's this do? Oh. I'm pretty sure this opens up some sort of room full of screaming, flaming skulls. I could be wrong. What did that do? This 
Staten Islander. Uh, I've never played Quake. I don't know what the difference is, but I know they're like... Oh, shit. I know they're like different, you know, stories, different characters, different worlds. Oh, God. God, I fucking love the drums. Ah! You sons of bitches. Oh, God! Oh, shit, did I miss my chance? There. What the fuck? I did miss out, huh? Fuck beans. I knew I should have done that first. Oh, what's cool is the upside down cross hurts if you stand in it. I agree, Colin Cook. We're killing lots and lots of families tonight. Oh! They have conquer demons in this one? I thought that was only the second game. Fuck yeah. Love these motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. Ooh, the plasma gun. Was the only point of this part to get the plasma rifle? Yeah. Did it. Oh, that hurts you too? Weird. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh god, what's this gonna be? Dude, yeah, Cyber Demon? He is tough. Oh man, these fucking cacodemons are pretty tough too. What's cool about the newer Doom games, if you don't know, is when you get every, every single enemy, when you get them weak, you can, like, glory kill them, which is you, like, beat them to death with your fists or pull out their eyes with those guys the version of those guys in the new games uh you jump onto them as they're floating and rip their eyeball out I'm like oh it's the best pan well yeah plus i think what they kind of hinted in doom 2016 is that 
all of these games also happen in the story just like you, you it just happened like a long time ago and you just keep having to do the same shit you know it's kind of rad <laughs> Yeah, dude, the cyber demon's footsteps are tough. Chuk, chuk, chuk. Oh, this will level kicks ass. So you're on a moon, a moon base that was experimenting with portal technology and accidentally opened a portal to hell. Oops. And there you go. The new Doom game adds a much cooler story that they are uh, that they're trying to pull renewable energy from hell. And right now, I have a special power up going on where I can kill people with my fist very easily, but I'm still get hurt. Oh no! Shit! Did I save it before I ended? The Fucking shit. Well. strafe button figured out. I changed all the uh, uh, controls uh, to be more old school, but I, I can't get, like, strafing. Maybe if I remove them? All. Oh, is that... What I want is the is where you hold on alt and then can move left and right, but... Uh, Oh, maybe do I do this? Yes! Oh, I think we figured it out! Except I did it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Alright, motherfuckers. I'm only gonna play for like 10 more minutes, so I'm glad I just figured out that part. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet lubrication. What? I don't know. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, this is gonna get great. Okay, so whoever asked, why is it Timmy strafing? I don't like it when people talk to me like that, but you had a point. And, uh, here we go. Yeah, Sparrow looks up. That was crazy, right? Like, I lived through that shit. Like, you know, they had, you know, Columbine and Jones, uh, Jonesboro, right? And uh, all that other stuff, and, uh, it's like, dude, yeah, when I play this game, it doesn't make me want to shoot anybody. It's relaxing and fun, and it makes me want to sit in my basement until I get an accidental boner, then I go into my bedroom and deal with that. Not a boner from this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Strafing. Oh, feels good. Fucking disco symbol? Hell yeah. Hold on. It's still kind of cold. I gotta go start my car. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still- Oh god, I knocked over that frog! <sighs> I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh, I just 
farted. I'm sorry. You probably heard it. Hey! I think I just saved it. Oh, well. Looks like a shooting gallery, doesn't it? Excuse me. Fuck you! God! One shotgun shell, and I shot the wall with it. Man, I'm almost out of ammo of all types. This is gonna get bad. But now we can strafe. Rip and tear, yeah. Did they add that for the origin for the 2016 Doom? Rip and tear, cause just cause Trevor and Darren love to watch it. It just reminds me of the YouTube video of the guy at the hedonism thing going the rip it and the tear. Or maybe they did it for that reason because Doom people love memory. I am going to be late for my movie because I am obsessed with this video game and it is so much fun to play and talk to people and have them watch me do kind of okay at it. Yerish, why do you keep saying what is hang? Why does hell look like the warehouse of a Walmart? Uh, well, okay, first of all, your joke is on point. Secondly, I did just explain it. What what happens in these games is a base on the moons of Mars that's centered around a couple of the moons of Mars uh, has been experimenting with portals into hell and it fucked up and hell came through and took over the moon bases and so you're some expendable cool guy <laughs> set in to fucking fix it and then yeah spoilers this is the second of four chapters of the first game, and you get uh, killed and sent to hell. Mm. Meow, meow. Meow. Oh, I'm having so much fun strafing. Oh, it's about time to go, though, my friends. My friends. One of these is a secret for sure, right? I forget which one. Oh no. Jesus. 
Jeez. I love it that when the, there's a random guy that just won't die. Am I familiar with Crazy Daisy the Pet Rabbit? I mean, I know about that's why Doom 2? Or is it the end of Doom 1? That's why he, like, goes. It's because they kill his pet bunny. Sidecar, are you still here? I don't want to upset you with that talk. Sidecar has a pet bunny. Suffer. Okay, I guess I'll open this door, shoot something, and then I'll go. I would love a Doom game where you play as the bunny. Uh oh. Oh man, I strafed into the fireball. That's cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, these are fun. You can't do that to me! Do this part, and then I'm gonna go. I forget what you do here. Wait, you saw someone put Doom on a pregnancy test? I know they put it on Casio keyboards. Pregnancy, a pregnancy test. That's impressive. Can I raid friend zone? Sure. Okay. All right, we're gonna be done. A copy machine? That's fun. Play Doom on a tampon. That's fun. Excuse me. Oh shit. Okay. Do I Daisy? I don't. What the fuck did I just do? I hit the wrong button. Okay. What am I doing? Friend zone! Okay. Tell those guys hi for me. And go! So, uh, thanks for watching me. I think I'll do a cookie show next week. I just got some stuff I had to figure out. I'll probably get there. But, uh, Enjoy Friend Zone. Tell those people Timmy from Whitest Kid says hi and have a good night. Love you.